Welcome back to the CBS 6 Storm Team Winter Weather Special, sponsored by the law firm of Allen & Allen. Baugh Auto Body, the best auto body shop in town, and Snowshoe Mountain Ski Resort. All right, this is the time of the year where we start to dream or dread snowfall here in the Commonwealth. A lot of snow lovers out there, but there are a lot of us also that would rather not see it ever come around. But this winter, we're going to see a couple things that uh, come into play for snow. First off is the El Nino cycle, and we talk about this a lot in El Nino or La Nino and how it affects our weather. And it looked like across the summer months and into the fall that we would be slipping into a weak El Nino this winter. That has actually changed. It looks like we're going to have more neutral conditions, but this is what we thought was going to happen. When you have an El Nino, you have warmer than normal waters across the eastern equatorial Pacific, and we do have one of these El Ninos that creates a stronger than normal jet stream across the southern United States. So that active southern branch will bring more storm systems in our direction. And with more storm systems, it just gives us a better chance that one of those will coincide with cold air and bring us a good snow or ice event. It doesn't have a whole lot to do with the cold air. In fact, with an El Nino, we typically get warmer weather here in the mid-Atlantic. The colder air is due more to a circulation up to our north and east, and it is called the North Atlantic Oscillation, and it has to do with how this area of high pressure builds or doesn't build across Greenland. It's called a blocking high. This is essentially like throwing a rock or a log into a river. The river, the jet stream, still going to flow, it just has to go around it, and when it does so, it creates the flow down to our south and west, in more of a dipping pattern that will bring the colder air down into the southeast and mid-Atlantic. So when you have that blocking high, it creates a jet that dips much farther south. It brings colder air into the mid-Atlantic and the northeast. And then even with a weaker southern jet, it just gives us better chances that one of those will hit with the colder air in place. So it looks like we'll have a normal southern jet with in so neutral conditions and not an El Nino, but we'll have to watch that circulation. Kind of hard to tell more than about two or three weeks ahead what that uh, phase is going to be of the NAO or the North Atlantic Oscillation. So here's what we have to consider. In so neutral conditions, in so just means El Nino Southern Oscillation. Conditions will be neutral, so I don't think it's going to be a big factor for us. The NAO phase will be. You want that to be negative if you're looking for snow. Then the third thing, the New England high, that's not as important with snow as it is with ice for us. Here's what happens when we get ice, and it's been a while because our last good ice storm was back in February of 2007, nearly six years ago. High pressure basically builds out of southern Canada and pushes to the east. The flow around high pressure is in a clockwise fashion, and the cold air associated with high pressure is very dense, so it hugs close to the surface of the earth. And because it's low and dense, it can't get over the mountains. So when it rotates around the high, it runs up against the mountains and then heads to the south. And that's why we get that shallow cold air here in the mid-Atlantic region. And that's why we're predisposed to ice storms here in the Richmond area. Again, it's been a while since we saw one, but I think we have a chance of seeing one this year. Here are your snowfall totals I'm expecting for the season. Up to six inches across southeast Virginia, six to 12 in the darker blue. Lighter blue, which includes Richmond, 12 to 18 inches, and then 18 plus when you get out into the mountains. So just to recap, I'm expecting 12 to 18 inches of snow for the Richmond area, which is a little bit above normal, and then the average potential for an ice storm. That'll do it for this year's winter weather special. For Mike Stone and Kerry Rose, I'm Chief Meteorologist Zach Daniel. Stay with CBS 6. We'll keep you ahead of the storm. This has been a CBS 6 special presentation. A CBS 6 Storm Team Winter Weather Special, sponsored by the law firm of Allen & Allen. If you've been injured, let the force of experience to work for you. Visit allenandallen.com. Baw Auto Body, the best auto body shop in town. And Snowshoe Mountain Ski Resort.